Hi, good afternoon. Um, no, good morning. <laughs> so uh, my name is Leon. I work for Intel. I'm a senior software cloud architect. Uh, I'm Sunil. I'm senior HPC architect. Work for Intel. So today in this lightning talk, we're going to show you some of the work that we have done at Intel about integrating OpenStack and OpenHPC. So primarily, we're basically using uh, OpenStack Ironic. Um, so we basically want to bring the two environments together to provide a very similar integration with the HPC world and provide a consistent interface for the HPC application users. So because it's just a lightning, it's a lightning talk, 10 minutes, so we're going to do, we are not going to have too much deep dive into, in terms of technical. So I'm going to pass the next um, uh, the mic to Sunil, who will be talk about um, give an overview of what Open HPC is, and then what are the three different approaches that we try to provision Open HPC environment on top of OpenStack Cloud, or having a cloud burst scenario in the two different cases, either on premises or off premises. Thank you, Leong. So I'm going to talk about uh, what the Open HPC is, a uh, little bit of introduction about Open HPC, and then I'm going to go over with how Open HPC can be used for to enable HPC within an Open Stack based cloud. Uh, so, talking about the Open HPC is very similar to Open Stack. Open HPC is an entire middleware stack, which is built by and for community to enable HPC. It provides common ingredients, uh, which is required to deploy and manage HPC cluster. Uh, for example, it provides a provisioning tool, uh, it provides resource management, job launch, some of the I.O. libraries, development tool for HPC, and variety of scientific uh, libraries. Most of the libraries maintained here are very highly optimized for HPC point of view. There are around 60 plus uh, integrated and tested modular, tested modular components and different libraries. So, and this is operated, uh, working as a Linux Foundation collaboration product. Uh, there is a link in case you are interested. Please go there. And today it is available at version V1.3. We launched sometime last year. This picture here provides a typical uh, Open HPC based cluster where it has a SMS node, we also call as a head node, which is connected to compute nodes via Ethernet as well as a uh, high speed network connection. Here, head node is very similar to OpenStack controller node. It's very similar. I'll go over with that a little bit here. And it's, with that, uh, all the optimized library, you can uh, run the HPC workload here. So with that, OpenHPC is highly optimized for HPC point of view, whereas OpenStack is for cloud. We put an effort to bring them together Meaning, can, we, can I utilize the goodness of OpenHPC in an open, open, open stack? Can I utilize all those optimized libraries? So our effort is to make OpenHPC available within an open stack. So in first use case, what we did, uh, we enable HPC uh, as a service within an open stack. What that means is actually, assuming there is an open stack based cloud, uh, which is connected with the ethernet, and assuming it has a high speed fabric, uh, in our experiment, that's what we did here. What we did here, uh, we instantiated a complete open, open HPC based system, which include open HPC based head node and instantiation of open HPC based compute node. And everything within an open stack, uh, but we are using all the open HPC based optimized libraries and making them connections. So this is HPC as a service. What we gained with this is actually we gained HPC performance and optimization from the open HPC, whereas we gain uh, uh, all the goodness of the open stack here. Okay. Our second use case is the cloud bus. So in this scenario, we are assuming that a uh, user has a HPC system uh, on premise uh, as well as a private cloud system, which is open stack based. They both are on premise. They are connected with the same uh, Ethernet switch as well as the same uh, high speed fabric. With that connection uh, in mind, what all we are doing is actually we are instantiating more compute nodes from the open stack and bring, uh, increasing our uh, HPC cluster uh, bigger with more compute capability. What that gives us actually, uh, it, uh, with that, uh, HPC cluster is now can utilize some of the unused uh, compute from the cloud. Uh, where most of the folks, uh, you guys are aware that HPC is CPU hungry, uh, memory hungry. So 
With this extension, we can utilize it. So this experiment was done all the on-premise, uh, assuming they both are on-premise. So what happens if systems are apart, means they are not on-premise, HPC cluster is sitting here, and maybe uh, cloud cluster is system is sitting somewhere out very far apart. So that's what our next use case, uh, which is very similar to the previous one, only difference is here, uh, they are not connected together uh, via, uh, they have their own high-speed fabric network. They are connected via public ethernet connections. So what all we did actually, we created a VPN tunnel between those. Once VPN tunnel is established, we use the same method, same methodology to instantiate more uh, node, and uh, more open HPC based compute node from OpenStack Cloud and extended our HPC cluster with more capability from the uh, private cloud. Little bit caveat here, uh, even though it's working, uh, uh, user is not suggested to run one HPC job across the different nodes because uh, as you know, they are apart and there is a VPN tunnel. So uh, if you run one HPC job on across these systems, performance will be very bad. Instead of that, it's advised to run multiple HPC job on different, different cluster. We use the SLAM in our uh, experiment and what we did, uh, we created subclusters, uh, one subcluster on this uh, private cloud side, another subcluster on the uh, HPC side, and with that, uh, we were able to launch a different, different small HPC job and utilizing this one here. So in all these three use cases, uh, we used a similar approach, uh, our design and approach, uh, what we did actually, uh, we are building a open HPC based images using the disk image builder. Uh, we created various ele elements which are open HPC based and that those elements uh, help us creating the very highly optimized open HPC based uh, head node as well as HPC net compute nodes. With those images, uh, that was the first step. Then we created various cloud init recipes uh, for post boot configuration, uh, which uh, with that we did set up the SSH connections, we set up the various uh, slum configuration, munge configuration in case you are aware of it. We set up NFS setup, all these by cloud init scripts. And then at the end, all the integrated recipe, uh, which enable us to create a push button kind of functionality where you select which use case you want and it will just instantiate uh, either HPC as a service or instantiate as a, uh, or it create a cloud bus scenarios. We are, uh, in our experiment, we are using OpenStack Metaka release uh, that, uh, and we are using uh, the Ironic for bare metal instances in our use cases. So that's our design and approach. Uh, so we wanted to prove, is it working? or how are we doing in there? We did HPCG workload and we tried to see the performance and we see is it really, uh, we are gaining the something or not. With HPCG workload, we, uh, we got the same performance as with open HPC. We did not see any difference, hardly any difference. That proved our HPC uh, system and we were able to uh, gain the HPC performance with the help of open HPC. Yeah. So, uh, as you can see the, on, on the screen, those, those are the key findings that we have found um, um, through our experiment. So we basically um, allow, by using the preview HPC images and cloud any recipe, we can enable the HPC in OpenStack with a more um, seamless way and providing a best bandwidth performance for HPC use cases. And the key thing that I want to highlight here is uh, all this thing will be open source, um, open sourcing in, in January next month, um, still in the process. Um, the key things I want to highlight is we welcome collaborations from all of you. If you guys think that this is something interesting for the HPC community, and if you guys are working on anything that related to this um, open stack integration with OpenStack, Bamato, Ionic projects, or the this image builder with uh, related to Open HPC or the, any Open HPC use case, we would like to invite you to collaborate with us and put this in the in, in the, into the open source community. Question. How do we tie Slum into Nova? We did not. Uh, so uh, in our experiment, uh, what, what we did actually, we have Nova is instantiating the different bare metal images. Slum is we are using for launching a job for now. 
that's the next uh, addition we are trying to go, which uh, dynamically it can instantiate and create a post one. So as, as I say, because this is a, uh, the first initial work that we have done, if we want to do, I think there's a lot of things that we can do in the future, so definitely we welcome the f further collaboration with Gears, like having Slum in, into NOAA support. Yeah. Uh, this image builder is mainly for creating the images so that we can reproduce those images, which is open HPC based and distributed. These are another areas of uh, collaborations. Uh, I'll go back in the previous slide here. And here, and so one of the collaboration is how, how do we share uh, IO share here? How do we NFS share between HPC head node to it? Because they are far apart, and we would like to have support from the community if uh, someone can help a community point of view. We can grow this further and increase further this one. Sorry, this is a time concern. Um, I would like to respect the next speakers, so I'm going to stop here. So questions, we'll stay around and we can have questions out there.